All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, I'm just making sure the stream starts. This is a live stream if you're watching the replay. It didn't start last time. Starting! Okay. Receiving your content. The audience will... Oh, what? I hope my internet's the right one. Did I have the wrong internet again? We're going to have to stop and start. Damn it. F success. I think we are working. Offline, live, kingdoms to life. We take ideas that are in our imagination and we bring them to, to life in the world of Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're going to be building using the CKF Remastered mod. And we're going to be taking on the most iconic castle in all of Westeros. That is the Red Keep. Bold and big challenge, I think. We have four hours to do today to get our project started. And I will continue this throughout the week, hopefully. If you're watching the live stream, thank you. Welcome. I did a little greeting, but it didn't take the first time I tried to start the stream. Seven watching. I'm kind of, yes, sir. Looks good. We are functioning. Okay, it's stream health is yellow. Why is that yellow? It should be green. Well, welcome. Either way, hopefully we will do our best. I'm on the good internet. Let's do a little quick speed test. I know I'm not showing you anything. I wanted a dynamic, exciting, smooth intro. I never manage. And I'm always late. I always start late. Let's make sure we've got the high enough speed to do our stream. I think we do. Oh yeah, it looks blazing fast internet today. So hopefully, hopefully we are good. Stream is fine though. Yes, it started rough and then now it's back. So I'm in the game world, people. And I, of course, am Unite the Clans. This is the known world map. So go to Steam Workshop and search that up. That is a map created by uh, Newt, who is the queen of Westeros. She built a castle out on that Dragon Dragon Point Island out there, Dragonstone. And uh, we, we've got to build a true castle for whoever the king or queen of Westeros is. We've got to build the castle that they will call their home. Now, my thumbnail... For today's video has some concept art in it thank you to the artist for creating that uh what's the name what's the artist name uh hold on i've got all these images up i think it's gray rogers got this version of the red keep just a beautiful painting that's in my thumbnail i think that's one that we're going to use for our inspiration but we have to talk about obviously this is king's landing this is uh i want to be sorry i want to be able to see you guys chat with me here so let me Bob Ross, welcome back. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Bruce and Ubersmith and Ger H. Gerskov, Turtle, Toves, Lurker Luke, Rhonda. Hello, everyone. Jesse. Uh, who else was here earlier? Moto, Tico, Kohaku, and Galaxy Gaming. Hello, everybody. Uh, so let's begin our project. So here's, here's what we've got, guys. Out to the left here are the docks. This is an area where you want to be able to see the keep. So what we are going to do is have the tallest part of the tower... Uh, the tallest part of the keep is going to uh, rest along, I believe, this wall. Or maybe the next one. Maybe it'll be this one right here. Uh, and the keep will continue. Mm. Let's, let's, let's space it out in our heads. So, I think, beginning at this tower, we are going to have the... Uh, let me get my images up and I'll see if I can share it with you guys. You know what? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to drag this. I, c I can do it. Let's do this. Uh, this. Uh-huh. And this. Right? So there's the image. There's one image, guys, that we're looking at. Right? That's the side of the keep that we would be able to see from roughly around here. And then we've got this one. This shows the other side. Slightly different layout, as you can tell. Slightly. This is a little bit more of a compacted version. Uh, but you've got this one. You see the t big, tall tower off to the right. That's kind of a key in our building design. That one's kind of a, iconic, and that will signal the transition from building this part uh, here, the, the throne room that you see with all the spires on the outside, and then the main tall keep that we've got here. Let me see. Do I have any other good images? We've got this, an overhead concept art from the early days of the TV show. I'm definitely going to be using this as a guideline as well. And then uh, people have built it in Minecraft. So there's some cool Minecrafty versions out there that we could take inspiration from. I know the main parts of the keep that need to exist. The details might take some, some perfecting over time but we need to start basically with our, our building project so let's go ahead and turn this off let's show you this this one this one one last time okay this one and this one are the two that i'm going to use the most uh, as we get started if you're watching the replay this is a live stream so about four hours planned in my my books so i think we just start guys and we we just 
just start working and we figure out where we can go. So I think we're gonna, how's this elevation gonna work for us? That's a little low. That is a little low. So it's gonna be a little slow laid back stream. I know that happens. Eventually you get sort of hypnotized by the sound of my voice, ASMR. Like just listen to the low smooth rumble of the UTC voice. Yes, that's right. Um, and how straight did I do? I'm a pretty, I'm a, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive straightness. I think I nailed it. Really got an eye for this building thing, I think. Kind of an unstoppable beast in the building department, wouldn't you say? Oh. <laughs> yeah, very straight. Yeah, nice and straight, idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Alright, so there'll be a lot of this today, guys. There'll be a lot of work it out, work it out, slow step forward, slow step back. We've got these lines we can use. Yeah, let's just do this, and we'll try one more time. We'll move all these. I'm using Arc Commander's Finger Cannon. That's my tool that I use to one-click destroy things. If you're curious, Arc Commander, great tool for builders if you're going to do the creative building mode. That's my favorite part of it. We're going to see if we stay roughly in line with the wall this time around. And we're using the foundations from the CKF mod. We're going to be building almost exclusively with CKF, I think, for this project. I can't see what else we would need to do. Oh, there's a hidden one down there. One. And... Okay, well, we're going to want to turn a corner here. So why don't we try... Hmm. I think there's a snap point we want. That's one. That's one. And then can I just go on top of that with a triangular? At the very least, let's grab a triangle ceiling. That will solve my problem here. Yeah, of course it will, right? And then we'll come out like, oh, I can't do it with a ceiling. That kind of does it. That just doesn't give me proper placement. Let's work it out slow and steady here, guys. I'll, I'll put the triangle ceilings right on the... Like the ceiling ceilings right on the hot bar? No, oh, hold on. That should do our trick. So we're going to want something like that. That's a bad angle to choose, though. That doesn't really help me solve my problem, does it? Although this is going to be an edge, so let's not worry about taking this corner yet. This is going to be kind of potentially an end to... Our structure. So let's call an let's call an end there, and let's take this all the way to its natural conclusion. And it's about in line. That's a pretty good line. Got a real eye for this building thing, as I once said. That's perfect. Isn't that perfect? Is that no? It's probably not. It's only going to be perfect if we continue like this. How do we, how do we transition? I know how. I know how. Uh, we just need, let's get inside the wall. Let's get inside the wall. What we want is these snap point and that'll give us everything. So we just bring this into the corner like that. Okay, and we'll be able to take this down. This angle's almost freaking perfect, isn't it, guys? I just want to be able to keep using these stone foundations as long as possible. These square ones, because these will keep things uniform for us. Okay, and we're at another turning point. They've done this perfectly, haven't they? Okay, so then we'll do the same trick here, where we... Boom. Take the corner like that. Okay. So that's a great thing about triangles, guys. Even if you don't use them, they can give you some fantastic uh, angles, right? Even if you don't primarily build this whole wall out of triangles, which is what I probably would have had to do uh, in order to get this to look the way I want it. Terrain dropping down as we get to another corner here. And look at just the perfection of that. Oh, it's almost like somebody knew what they were doing when they designed these walls, right? Look at that. How smooth. And we're still basically in line with the wall. I've come out a little bit from the wall, but that's not bad. We're losing a little bit with every turn we make. Okay, and we've got this big rock here, so let's build up and through it.
And just to make sure we've still got foundation support under there, we'll duck under the ground. We'll try and complete this. Creative building mode, right guys? We're going for looks more than f something you could redo in your survival mode. That would be This would be a ch hard challenge to complete in survival, this building of this keep. So we're gonna use every trick at our disposal. We're gonna try to do another corner turn. Oh, there's nothing to, there's nothing to build off of. Let's go down here then. This is actually working out brilliantly for us, guys. I'm quite happy with this. We're gonna leave all these rocks in place. We're gonna try and work around them. And I'll just pop down here. Honestly, I, I think because I'm ghosting through the ground, we don't even need to have this beef. We, we could uh, just do, run the line of foundations and I can put walls up from here. So this is something that you can't do, I guess, without creative mode. I try not to do these, these things. But our goal here is to complete the project, to make a brilliant, large building project and have it be just make it work. Make it work any way that we know how. Okay, so, and look at that. Look at that perfect flush coming in right against this wall. That worked out well, didn't it? That worked out very well. So let's get rid of that. We don't really even need all of this. As long as we have the base layer, we're gonna be fine. So let's go ahead and leave everything but our base layer. And then we're gonna come through and add walls to this. And this will be the start of our major construction project. Now there'll be a little tricky area on the inside of these on the corner. But that's something, guys. That is something. Okay, so new new tactic. We are going to begin placing walls. So wherever our wall starts, we're going to begin placing walls that will come up through the keep. You know what? Let's start right here instead. Right? And these are three giant 3x2 three walls. So this will help us keep our structure count low because we're going to be building monstrosity, right? So... Let's uh, let's make sure we do it right. And let's see how this looks, this first little section, if we step out and now we're gonna wanna build it up. Is that how that works? Is that perfectly placed? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. This is what I was looking for, guys. Now, look at the placement of that. How can you argue with that? That's gonna be perfect. That's going to be perfect. All right, and we've got the no clipping ish thing set up so that we can clip pieces into one another most of the time it seems to work it's not a hard and fast rule but and maybe we could even use this tower as the base of something else that we build so let's do let's just do a little quick one of these okay I think this is going to be our primary color. The red keep is kind of more of a, you can go with an orangey red, you can go with a pinkish red, but in terms of what's going to, what we're going to be able to create, uh, and what's going to look good in arc, I think this is going to be our color. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's, uh, switch to morning sunlight here. Uh-huh. That looks actually pretty brown, doesn't it, from this angle? I think that's going to be good, though. I think that's going to be good. So what we have to do is we kind of have to take... I think we're going to take walls up uh, all the round to this height at least. So that for this section of wall, the city wall or the castle walls are going to come through the, the city defense walls that, that surround it. Uh, so let's keep, let's keep building. And I, I'll have to do it this tricky way where I'm hiding inside walls, but... I think that's going to work for us. And I'll catch up here on on your chats in a moment and say hello to everybody who's tuned in. Now, I guess we got to be careful. Are there ta that's not a tower. We're good. Oh, it is kind of a tower, I guess. Oh, it's just a support built inside the wall. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these walls are built with these in there. Yes, look at this beauty, guys. I love it. I think we were off to a very good start. So we're going to complete this this sort of angle of 
Oh, where are we now? Ah, it can't be this. It must be this. And did I get everything? Did we complete this corner? Yeah, it looks right. It's just behind this wall. It's pretty darn perfect. Now, once we turn the next corner, it's going to come out from there, but it won't matter because these are going to be, this is going to be a wall that you, you don't see the interior of, if I can have a say in that. It's just perfect. This castle shape that comes pre-made on the map, it's almost, it's like it's measured out exactly in, in uh, arc foundations. I love it. Look at that. It's just smooth every time. It's the same distance, the same length. It keeps working. Whoops, we don't want that. We don't want that. Now, the issue with these, it's just a single plain big wall. You can't add a ton of detail to it, but uh, this part of the wall is going to be hidden. It's just for us to build up from. We probably don't have to do this stuff that's just inside, but check that out now. Check out that. That's kind of cool. It comes up right through these walls. So you can do that. It's going to be good. This is going to add a ton of detail to whatever the this the inside of this wall is. And are we at the end of our foundations? Not yet. I need to keep going. There's a lot more to do. So let's keep working our way down, guys. We can now do this ooh, from outside. Yeah, we still want to be inside. Never mind. Oh, that's why. Stupid wall. Beautiful. I know this is going to be a big project, but I'm kind of excited to take it on. I'm looking for an excuse to stream on a regular basis, and I think this is going to be the excuse I use. So all everything is, I mean, this setup is almost perfect for us. Look at this corner shape. Okay, that's where I decided to stop it. Okay. Let's do another round of build, build uh, walls built up. And we'll be able to step back and start to get an idea of this. So my, my plan was to have it hug the walls so that it's very visible from the outside of the castle. That's what we want. We want to be able to see this thing from outside. Now, somewhere along the way, how did that happen? Hold on. Got to make sure these all come to the same height, otherwise I've done something wrong. No, that was just a glitch. So these are cool because they will lock in here or here. So you can snap them at either height. So even though they're three high, you can kind of do them at any point. Okay. More. Lots more. I did one, two, three, four, five sides. Okay, so I'm going to need to figure out how to make this whole setup work now. This is wild. Good start though, guys. How about this? Does this not feel like we're accomplishing something? Let me check in on chat. How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, stream is fine. What? You are live. Hello, Dynamic. I didn't give you a heads up this time, did I? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I figured we'd be fine. I figured it was a weekday. It would be quiet stream. But there's almost as many folks that were watching yesterday afternoon, so... And that was Tuesday afternoon. We got Wednesday morning here. In the midst, if you're watching this years later, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, I'm on home ar house arrest, lockdown, quarantine, living at my mom's house. And you know what I haven't done yet for you guys today on the stream and watching at home? Let's do a little of this. Hi. Hello, friends. Good to see you all again. Um, today we're building the Red Keep from Westeros, from the land of Westeros, and this is what we've got in the works. Beginning to slap things together. I like it. I like it. Now, it's interesting that our angles aren't quite perfect, but we could, uh, there's probably something I could have done to get it perfect, but it's near perfect. It's approaching perfection. 
Hoo-hoo, yes. I mean, how about that? Let's slap more paint, okay, guys? Region 5, and let's just... Whoosh. Slam dunk it. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Why am I so fast now? I'm too fast now. I had a perfect speed going earlier. Now I'm like a wrecking ball. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's keep going. We'll back up and take a look in a minute. Uh huh. I played video poker with my friends, guys, and one of my friends said that the back background I've got here for my webcam looks like I'm in Pee Wee's Playhouse. I think it was probably just a one of my friends, an elaborate insult. My friends are very good at those. I'm sure it was some odd pedophile joke or whatever. What was wrong with Pee Wee Herman? I don't think. I think he was a public uh, public exposure type guy. Isn't that what it was? Indecent exposure? Something like that. Anyway, don't don't give Pee Wee a hard time. Uh, okay, so this won't. Oh, there. Oh, that looks sick. I know we don't get that effect throughout. That's interesting. Okay, I'm actually going to, guys, replace this one wall. Uh, like, so, oh no, shoot. Okay, we need the ghost again. Uh, it, 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 uh, it looks cool. But, uh, I don't, I think it doesn't really matter that this one is painted and I think it probably looks better if it just is a little bit of brick sticking through like that because it's the only part uh, nothing over here needs paint so I don't know that this will give us much guys but this is the beginning of what we're going to be working with these are it's a big old shape so kind of what I have in mind is what I have in mind so we've got five walls now that encircle this thing. Maybe we go back to looking at our image and we see what we how, how will we make this work now that we have this shape. So let's go back to checking out the inspirational images that I pulled up. Boom. So that's there's no really there's not a whole lot of wall curving going on in this version. Right? In this version it's kind of up to you. You could see if you look the five walls that we did could be a complete circle around the center, which is the red keep. So it could be one here, two, three, four, and five. So if that was the case, now let's go back. Then that would mean originating the, okay. Okay, so I think by default we go one level higher with all of these. And that's that's the, our kind of our low point for all this castle building stuff. Okay, so let's do one more tier of this, guys. Uh, and we'll come back and we'll paint it. And we'll, well, you can always take it down because these walls are huge. They're kind of a big commitment. If I wanted to, I could do, I have smaller ones I could do. I have two by twos and one by twos instead of a two by three. They used to have huge walls in the old versions of this mod, but it, you couldn't paint the castle stuff, so I'm all in. And we've lost the rounded towers, but the good thing about the Red Keep is it's very angular. None of the towers are straight up round. They're all kind of octagonal or hexagonal or ten-sided or whatever, right? So let's keep going. We, we know how to make 16-sided circles, 8-sided octagons. We know how to make 6-sided hexagons. And I'm sure there's some other variations on that that we, can, that we all know how to do. 32-sided, um, I could do that if I ever needed to, but it's big. And then there's a 64-sided mega circle I know how to do as well. But those are they're just nightmarish. I could probably do a 128. I'd have to call in Jinji again. I haven't see, talked to him in a good while. But he was a, the circle guy that I learned from. I think he learned from Captain Fat Dog, who's really got a skill for that. That man, he's a circle master, a circle innovator. I love this about Ark. I mean, it's, we've got this limited building system, but I like limited building systems. It forces you to improvise and use your imagination on things, right? 
Okay, let us do one more round of this. Oh, went way too fast. Go slow then. And we'll do another backup look. Now, I hope this color is going to work for us. It seems like it will. Uh, we could always change the castle to this stone, but that's not really what suits the red keep, and it has this kind of much darker look to it. We could use this in a couple places, but I think we're going to want the cut stone because of its its beautiful sort of textures. The red, red keep was built kind of from, like, bricks. Granite, maybe? And obviously it's a fictional place, but the good thing about George Martin is when he writes his books, he writes all this backstory, all this kind of history that helps you understand, make it feel like a real world, which is always what I've tried to do with this series. So, you know, we do a day like this where we're flying around and slapping together a giant creative build, but a lot of the time you want to get down on foot and look at everything you're building from the scale of a pedestrian and get an idea of, especially on this map, we're not going to have flyers when we get it going as a community server. So... Yeah, beginning of something, right guys? Now, it's a little bit bland right now. It's just five walls, each on an angle from one another. It's a 60 degree angle from one another. So, nothing too fancy. So that's it right there. So this is our center wall. What I am envisioning is, the center wall is where this large section emits from. The From it will be this section that leads towards the Tower of the Hand. So from it, you will lead towards the Tower of the Hand in a straight line out to this edge. Now, these ga these pillars here could be... the uh, These towers here could be this one here. So we might end up deciding that this whole... This section only goes so high, right? So if we remove these... Now that works pretty well. And even even still, I might benefit from taking it a wall, a wall lower or a half wall lower. So let's actually try that. Let's get a feel for it. Because we're going to have to keep working this out step by step by step as we go. I have a two by two wall. I think that is what we are going to try to use here. So if I put that in, what height does that take us to? That's pretty perfect. So let's do that for this section. And we'll just kind of do our initial first build. This is why, like I said, I love Dynamic D. He will gather any resource I ever need in my life. But this is why, even though I've got somebody gathering an infinite amount of resources for me, I like being, I like carry, give me an infinite amount of stuff to carry. Let me zip around the map flying and let me solve my own, my own problems. You know what I mean? Let me not go, oh, let's head over to this thing to get this building. Let's just get all the building material. Let's just build. Let your imagination take hold and play arc like it's a true builder's sandbox. And with this mod, it makes me want to do that more than ever. Just settle in and... Yeah, right? Okay. So if this section is going to be square, we're going to want to begin laying out how far out it comes. So let's remove a few of these. And, okay. So then we're gonna have a big hollow space on the inside of our wall. Where is our last foundation? One, two. So this is it. So, we have got, back to our reference image, we have got this wall here where we can put in a few towers. Now, it's going to have a straight line across it where it heads towards another gate. Now, our main gate is right over there, so that could work. It's just on the complete other side of the thing. So, this gate that you see here will end up being closer to, to this part for us. It will end up being over here with the ramp coming down like this. You guys can see my little pointer, right? So, this is the chunk we're building. So, it's lower and it's going to go back into a higher, narrow section that's going to go back into the big main keep. Coming off the main keep will be this, the throne room, and over here on this side will be another low section with towers that sits just above the wall. So let's go and do this section on the right now um, and bring it to the proper height. So you can see it's the same thing where it runs into a tower. These are the only towers. It's kind of perfect. It's almost like the person who put this map together knew I was going to build the red keep here. So let's go ahead and knock some of these out. I know we just did it, guys, but we're, we're this creative mode. Kind of build it, slap it down, start over. 
So we're gonna be doing that right here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then we're gonna come in with our two by twos. And that height is perfect for what we're trying to accomplish. We're gonna want uh, potentially to build a tower that re resembles this one or to use this tower as a base for a taller tower. I got I got feelings now, guys. I knew I knew I needed a nice long stream to start working out these concepts with you, uh, and I'm starting to feel good about it. I'm starting to feel like we can pull this thing off. So these are all ten walls, twelve walls, and fourteen walls in length. So that's fourteen standard ceilings across. Okay, so if that is, let's take a look then. If this section is 14 long, it is probably six or seven, not seven. F maybe it's only five wide. One, two, three, four, and five. If that's the case, then Let's try shaping this out for ourselves. Can I poke my head under here? Let's just keep our life simple and straightforward so we don't have to go climbing over these rocks, but we can keep them in place. And I think that's the end of it right there. And if we were to build out from this one, Will those not occupy? Okay. So we could end up with something, some shape like this. Now it's going to make our interior a bit of a mess. The question is, does it step out and get larger as it comes through here? It will, but not necessarily by our own design. We could come out and wrap around into this large central keep thing. So... Maybe we don't need this yet. We need to get rid of this. And this. And we can remove these placeholder ones now. They will definitely not have trees growing back on us. Okay, so. Why don't we build this up to match? Now it's going to be... It's going to be a back and forth of the 2x2s and the 3x2s. And on the inside here, we're going to eventually need to add more detail. So these big chunk walls are probably not going to be the solution. But for now, we will make them the solution for us. Right. So these will work for us for the time being. What's wrong with you? And maybe, do we make it one wider? No, let's not. I wonder if we bring it deeper. I wonder if we bring the line deeper out here so it goes into the middle of this tower. We do something like this instead. Mm -hmm. Something like this. How did I... Whoops. Okay. Uh, four, four. Number four, please. One. Two. And... Come on. Okay. We gotta keep using this ghost mode just to keep our build clean and tidy. How? No, I'm not gonna want to do that, am I? Okay, let's make another minor adjustment here, guys. We don't want that. So let's start here. And we'll go right here. And that's the end of it, then. That is the end of it. Okay. No, it's not. I see. Hmm. Okay. Right. 
We don't want to mess up the stairs inside this tower because this tower leads somewhere specific. Right, and it's going to be a good view up at our castle. So we want to make sure this staircase is intact. So that means... Maybe we put this one here. Let's just do this real quick with one by twos. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the two by twos. Perfect height. Okay. And the two by two is up top. So this is now five high. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna slap more paint on this and some ceilings across the top. And we'll try and get a feel for what we've got here. Is this the beginning of our structure? I feel pretty good about this initial stuff that I want to remove it. That I'll be able to sort of improvise into making it work. Uh -huh. Now, like I said, this will have to get detailed out. Uh, I'm not just going to leave a big brick block like this. It only looks so good. So we'll go region one, just region five on these. It should leave the top un untouched, but it should get paint these sides that we need painted. Uh -huh. Something like this should function for us. Okay. That is the beginning of something. Let's recreate that over here. So we did five, a width of five. And we came out of the, let me look here guys. We came out of the tower on the same angle as the tower, but this one is not on the same angle. So maybe we're going to need to do let's find our way back to this point here so we can go to, whoops so we can go so that's two three four and five we're going to take this down and then we're going to see about changing the angle at the end using one more triangle because that's what would happen that's the thing i stopped doing a little minute ago uh-huh i think this is the same size and width so if we get in this spot and we find a triangle spacing placement right triangle ceiling was kind of the secret wasn't it so if we go one of these uh -huh. and then take that out and then we'll go one regular ceiling. And you can always snap a, a foundation under a square ceiling. It's a flawless system. So that would be, that is not the angle of the tower either. Oh, it's like a harsher angle. So what if we did another triangle here? Let's just get rid of the triangle foundations and switch to ceilings because the foundations don't seem to be as effective for going everywhere. That's the angle, right? Something like this, yes, okay. Okay, I 
think this will have to be wider, at least than the last one. Let's go ahead and finish this up here. Go in that gap, please. Okay. Ghost inside a wall. Yeah, it's not going to go where I want it to, is it? Remove. That should do the trick. Okay. And I'm not sure how we'll navigate this transition here. How is that edge? Remove yourself, rubble. Get removed. <laughs> trying to blow it away. Come on. I want to see this corner. How smooth is it? Not smooth. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. So, that doesn't work, does it? You know, I'm not sure, guys. Let's let's try What if we brought this to here? These two came together. That's smoother. Okay. I like what we're doing. I'm going to catch up on your chat here in a moment, guys. I'll do my best to glance over at it every once in a while. You're all probably zoned in now, right? Just listening and watching. Getting lost. Oh, a little frame drop. Things going okay, guys? How's the stream look? It seems like it's going smooth. CK Remastered mod does have some odd snap points. It's a, it's a, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yes, there's some brilliant ones. It's, it's really a great, it's a great system. I like the snap points so much. <laughs> uh, okay, let's come in and try and finish this off to the best of our ability. I probably don't need to fill this all in. Okay, well, let's get our walls in, then. And let's see... Yeah, this... this. I guess it doesn't really matter. You gotta begin slowly and humbly with a big project like this, I think. See what comes together for you. To get the angle you want, you probably want to use two trying. Yes, I think I figured it out. I just realized he's Bob Ross. Oh, you, oh, you did, eh? You did. Yeah. You ain't the first to make that comparison. <laughs> Flattered every time. That's one that my favorite, the B double O, used to get doing Bob Ross and Minecraft. That was pe what people said. Should this come out one further? Can't hurt. No, let's just do this for now. Okay, now it'll be easy. Come across with our two two by twos. <laughs> A 
let's just settle in. We're going to paint this, we're going to back up, we're going to take a look at the whole operation. Hopefully, this is going to look right, and we're going to be able to make this look attractive. I hope so. Oh, I'm painting the tops of these ceilings, idiot. Oops. Let's get these slapped together, I think. Whoops. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Let's bring this thing together. I'm using just one. The Castles, Keeps, and Forts Remastered. CKF. So, slow start. But it's basically just, uh, it gives you some castle options as well as some, like, medieval house building tools. Um, and the castle ones, there's two varieties. There's the field stone and the cut stone. Whoops, we're going to be using cut stone because that's what looks best. And I'm slapping it all with tangerine paint. That's the best part. So it's called the remastered. It used to exist uh, before and it ended up getting taken off the Steam Workshop, which doesn't even really happen with mods. Even when they're inactive, they stay out there eternally, basically. But in this case, that, that was this mod had to come down before it could get put back up and it's been put back up minus a few of the cool building pieces but added a ton of functionality things just work now you just paint and it comes through so we ooh, huh, miss a spot okay so some nice sort of unevenness on that there's like little patchy bits that are a bit darker and a bit lighter so we got the beginnings of something here guys we've got the beginnings of something now in line with this tower we could end up building a matching tower is this about one foundation we could end up building something that matches that maybe fits in, you know fits in here we could slap just while we're getting the shape of things together and this is all this is a very this is like playing with clay at this point in the process, guys. We can just kind of slap something in, and if we don't like it, we'll slap it out tomorrow. We'll go, oh, that was a bad idea. Let's remove that. Let's start with this instead. And I guess you need to go one higher. So I'm going to show you some more CKF stuff that's kind of cool. Uh, once we've got this in place. The music today, guys, by Josh Woodward. I've always used his stuff. I'm a big fan of it. It matches my sort of tone of voice and personality, people seem to think. So that's about the same height? Uh, it's not. Okay. Let's go back to this height then. Uh, where am I? Yeah, yeah, these. Now there's a lot we could do. We're just we're starting with the big blocky chunks, um, but one of the there's sort of a castle turret thing, or rampart. So if we use this just out of the gate here for just a little decorative feel, we can see how close we get to the feeling of the ca the tower that's right next to it. Not perfect. It's actually not the right width. I think I need a third layer of, uh, I need a three by three instead of a two by two. Uh-huh.
Nah, not perfect, but it's giving you the essence, isn't it? It, it? There's an essence. It feels essential. Uh, did I do it right? No. Do it right. Yeah. Smooth building. Show him your skills, sir. Damn it. All right. Let's just make life easy. We'll use this piece instead. Will you go where I want you to, sir? Nope. Okay, let's use this again. All right. Oh, I could have come one more deep. Yeah, let's do this. That's what we're looking for. I never like this song. It comes on every time I do a stream. Let's clean up this interior a little bit, guys. Do this inner corner that way we can create some kind of way in and up and down it but i don't know that that'll be necessary we're kind of this is really just a decorative thing at the moment we need a little more height to be honest before we add these in so you know what we're going to do i'm going to show you another cool building piece the one-third wall so we've seen half walls before but this game comes with one-third walls now the walls are actually square in this a standard regular single wall is a perfect square unlike arc where they're a rectangle so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this piece in and we might do two layers of it I think that might be the trick so we're gonna do two layers of it the top one we are not gonna touch the bottom one we're gonna pull out this tool this changer tool and we're gonna do this Right? And then we'll come through and do... Ooh. Let's try the higher one. Hmm. Well, it might benefit from this instead. And remove that top... Top one. Ah, uh, you know what? I like it. Let's go ahead and leave it in. It's not bad at all. Okay, I gotta get this song off my playlist. <laughs> Love Josh Woodward, but there's a few duds in the playlist. Eh, there you go. I hope you like these building pieces, guys. We're going to try and make a daily routine of this. I'm going to try and get some record, ugh, recorded episodes of this series going once we've got our initial uh, project underway with this uh, red keep. But people seem to be digging it now that I'm pulling out the fun bits, the toys. So now we go one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. We're going to leave this unpainted, or we're going to paint it in some shade of uh, off-white to match the other tower here. And we'll come around and we'll make sure everything's at the right height. And I'm going to switch the daylight here in a second, guys. We're going to get some morning light going again. Yes, yes, yes! 
I think we're doing well. I feel very good about what's happening so far. Boom. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Now what we should do, maybe add a little arch in the middle, which would mean, which would mean we would need, I think just this piece. So let's go ahead and put that on the hot bars somewhere here. Uh, and we'll grab some singular walls as well, some standard one by ones. We'll put those on the hot bar. Okay, so. Wrong height. You know what? We need that morning light, don't we? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, it's dawn. Another day. So, what about one, two? With this. And one, two, three. Uh-huh. And then over here. There used to be a piece that was made for completing these corners, a little wedge piece that used to go in there. I liked that a lot. So that's a, it's all right. It doesn't quite match the one on the other side, nor does our tower. I mean, it's, it's this bit, this sort of little extender bit. I could figure out how to do it, but I don't know whether to waste too much time on this. That's close enough. Nobody's going to care too much, right? Let's go ahead and put something in this. So, and we'll use, I'll use another piece here that you guys will like. Ooh, look at this red sky over the red keep. Uh, let me change the time then to like 8 a.m. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So another piece you guys will like is this, the accent. So you can add this. This is what we would have to do to kind of recreate. So if we did like this, it helps to capture the look of the other one, right? It's not perfect. We'd have to do it at like this height too. But for us here, we're going to be able to do... Now, can I take this over here? Probably not without a wall, a ceiling on the inside. So, why don't I give myself that? And I'll, I'll take a regular keep ceiling. Put that back on my hotbar. Oh. You can't do anything with that tool in your hand, that shotgun tool. So now that's in there, I can come through and go one. And if you think this piece is kind of neat looking, it is just the beginning of what's going to be <coughs> at your disposal. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Hope I don't have the COVID. I've been <coughs> deep in quarantine. I should be fine. When in doubt, guys, it, if you're doing what I just tried to do here, it sometimes makes sense to go, I should try to not match that tower. But I think we did a decent job. I wish I could make it a little bit better. I have an idea, but I don't... I don't want to do it. I think we're going to have to live with this. This is going to be what it's going to look like. So let's. I'll show you one last time the detail bits here. Check this out. How many? My favorite one is this. A little rounded ledge. Right? And then we... Oh, how did I do that? That's wrong. Now we're also going to come in with the keep pillar. And we'll put some edges on this little tower here. These have a bunch of designs as well. Round and quatrefoil, pentafoil. We've got everything you could imagine. So we kind of made this match. 
That's kind of cool. I feel all right about that. I wonder, oh, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Well, let's get this in. Ooh, and this should be changed, right? There's a hatch frame door. Uh, this, right? We're not matching exactly, but it's giving us the beginnings of what we want. Right? So I think what we can do now, I'm actually going to remove the bottom pillar and everything should fall. And we're gonna start from the top, actually. Yes, perfect. Okay, so you'll see in a second what I have in mind. Let's find a way to start from the top, uh-huh, and just come down to here. And maybe this will give us a similar sort of feel to the other tower, where we're just kind of coming down from above. I don't think it matters too much back in this section. That's gonna be hidden away. Eh, kinda. Kinda, right? If I did the line of detail above my door, instead of below it, but that doesn't. You know what? Let's work it out. Let's work it out. Let's leave this lower line of detail for now. Let's take you out. Let's go. Where would it have to be? It would have to be at this level. So... Two, three, four, five. Get rid of them, okay? And now... remove one of these two pillars and we'll find out where the bottom is ah so what I'm gonna do instead of these one-third walls watch I'm gonna get the half so there is a half wall keep typing mm -hmm. I'm gonna put these on the hotbar these do not have the same details as the other as the one-third closer to what we were going for and then under this we're gonna place a row of ceilings it should work okay you know what we're gonna do then is it two one-thirds dang I think I had it right the first time Tool. Okay. Little little detail work, right? Makes a huge difference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tell me that isn't beginning to beginning to resemble. Now, we don't have a door that is the right shape. What we have, let's go with door. We've got this one. We've got the one on our hotbar. 
And that's it for CKF. Now there's a medium, medium. There's this one, which I think is going to be too big for our purposes, but let's, I think it's two by two. So the only way to do it would be to create an off center snap point to center it directly on this wall. How do I do that again? Okay, so let's try that. Off center snap point, one to the right. We need a vanilla pillar. So a pillar. Now, not a CKF pillar. This is kind of this trick. S plus, S plus, regular. This is what we want. So we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna find the snap point. Yes, this snap point right here, right? We're gonna build up. Uh, how, how did I do that? How did I reselect it? Ah, we at the right height. We are at the right height, aren't we? So if we were able to do something like this, and now we can put our medium one on there. Is it going to fit, though? A little bit too big now, right? There is no perfect one. What do you guys like? The big medium? Or the small? If we do the medium, we can lower it all down by uh, doing a ceiling here and then a low wall along here with a ceiling underneath it. And then our big pillar could go like that. Oh, that won't work. Okay, we need to build up from below. Oh, I just deleted something I shouldn't have. Yeah, big wall. Okay, we'll fix that. Okay, now let's go one, two, and we'll build up by two half, two third walls. Is that what I was? That's the height it would have to be. You know what? I like it. We're going to make it work, guys. Uh, we're going to make it work. Now, ooh, there's this stupid trick. I have no way to close this gap. Not, not fully. Without closing down the gate. I mean, maybe we could make that work. What a mess of a wall I'm making now, just to get this centered up. <laughs> uh, worth the trouble. Now here's what we could do. Uh, we could grab some, go back to the CKF pillars try to smooth out what this looks like. So if we did this and we make maybe make these the round version. I don't like the positioning of these. What if we did a ceiling just below this ceiling? Mm -mm. This is this is what's gonna screw me on this this building project, guys. Is my uh, my dawdling, spending too much time on little things. There we go. It's coming. Nope. Come on. just doesn't like that spot. There we go. And then... Oh, it's still the same? No, this. Okay. one inside the other, hopefully. Oh, it needs to be that... Mm. 
Okay, uh, we're, 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 we're working on it, guys. One, two... Three, four, five, and a ceiling. And then... Something like this. I know it's not perfect, but it... It works pretty good. Okay, let's fill this in real quick. Right? Good job. Good job, me. Okay, so let's finish it off with this and this. Do we just leave it under the door? I think so. I think that's all we need. And let's put this one into the ridge, the little ledge one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so the last thing we'll do is the medium door to close this up. Let's see if we can squeeze this in here. Not bad. Not exactly what I was going for. But decent. Okay. So now let's take a look at what we have accomplished. We are... Is this coming up on the stream? Oh, hey, Crazy Mom. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, oh, holy crap. There was a couple. Holy crap. Good. Tag. I missed it. I got zoned into the building. You guys know my friend Tag Back TV. Just dropped 50 big old buckaroos. On the, that's that, uh, that's that uh, Red Dead Redemption cash right there. Uh, give Tag some love, guys. He's awesome. He and I started... Uh, our very first video together was back when I started the Building Evolved series. Before, back when I was building very simple cabins and he was playing with the CKF mod, building towers on the Crystal Isles map, which is about to become official. So CKF's back, Crystal Isles is back, Tag's back, UTC's back. It's a full-on reunion of the very first collab we ever did. So thank you very much to Tag and Crazy Mom. With DKK, is that Danish money? DKK to CAD. I think tw uh, uh, 20 yeah that works out to about 410 Canadian thank you very much crazy mom means the world to me a uh, lot of focus going on dealing with them arc snap points tag you I know you, you haven't played as much arc in recent times have you played with the new castles keeps and forts have you ventured into this what we're attempting and it's a bold attempt is the Red Keep from Game of Thrones. This is just sort of stage one of the project. And it's going to be a big old project. Big old project. Yes, I am in build mode. I'm locked right in now, guys. It's the, it's, it is fun. I love doing this. I love getting into build zone. Build mode. Build brain. A brain of builders. Yeah, it's good to be back, Tag. I, I, I came to Tag a little while ago, guys, going, maybe I should come back to YouTube just for the money. Just figure out how to get rich. Pay my... Pay my... <laughs> it's sort of smart thinking, I guess, but I'm not probably not cut out for for that, 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 that world. I could do it. I tried doing it before, but it just melts my brain over time if I'm not doing something I'm passionate about every day. If I'm just going, oh, what, what's the latest, newest, greatest thing? Yeah, okay. Now, one option we have, guys, that I just didn't consider until right now, and it's brilliant, is we're going to make this tower stand out from this tower by using... Uh-huh. We're going to need paint to complete the job, but we're going to use this, which matches it way better. It matches it way better. This is the field stone, so this is going to make it stand out, obviously, from the red keep. It will be its little standalone tower, and it will match the gate, but it's black. It's like a dark gray-black to start with, so we're going to have to find that oh this doesn't change so this is gonna have to stay in color and what is this under there get rid of this right no this oh crap tell me be the right one yeah good this is brilliant i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner okay so we can keep this little detail bit in there if we want we can use this which adds to the detail and I wonder what's going on here. 
Oh. Oh, that's it. What the heck was I doing there? Okay, let's remove the uh, crappers. Crap. Okay, we might... <laughs> I didn't realize how much double layering I did. What a sloppy mess this is. Okay. We're in, we're in pretty good shape, but it's these pieces that aren't going to do what I want them to. So let's take this out and this out, and we're going to replace them with the halves, because the halves have a nice clean fieldstone look to them. So if we come through with the halves and we dangle them down from here, one, two, three, now we can do a nice clean fieldstone without the bar at the top. That's what we need. And then what did I manage to knock out? Nothing too important, to be honest. It doesn't really freaking matter the way that I did this. It's the pillars, so I had these pillars that came through here, and they went uh, from here to here. Is that what I had? I don't think it went all the way up, did it? I thought it stopped short of... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's get the rounded parts in there. So just like the old days tag, works like it used to, um, but... Everything's smooth now, and the best part is you can paint everything, so that does, that's not what I needed. For frick's frickin' sake. Uh, let's just do this, one, two, and then we'll have to finish this off with the half walls. Give me a little half wall dangle right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, now what we have to do is convert this this over oh here let's even do these right and we're gonna have to slap some paint on this and try and make it look good so i think it's gonna be it might even be white paint this inside bit does not matter too much to me guys it's not going to come into play much Ooh, almost lagged out there. How's the stream looking? Everything still going smooth? Everybody happy and satisfied? Okay. Okay. Let's find the right paint. Let's begin with silver. It'll be region 5, and only region 5 that we need to cover. Boom. That's probably our best bet. We can try parchment as well. Okay, let's just do this really quick. Ready? One, two, one, two. Okay. Okay. And let's try a little parchment as an alternative. I think this is going to be too colorful. Oh, and we're going to need to change the... <laughs> Okay, now it's obvious right now which one works. I think it's still obvious, right guys? Silver is the color. I don't think we have anything that's going to be in between those two, so that's going to be our best bet. So. Let's keep it up. Uh, tag that super chat makes my day, my friend. It's, it's amazing. I know you, you don't have to do that, but you, every time you pop into my stream, you, you do something like that. So I mean, it means the world to me, my friend. Uh, yeah. It's good. I mean, what a dream it is to make playing video games your job. And I accomplished it for a while before I fell back to being a waiter. And Tags accomplished it. Got to quit his job and focus full-time on making videos, entertaining people. Just keeping them, giving you a little something, a little pleasant distraction during this whole... Uh, p global pandemic thing, right? You're they're just there for people. You you're just a bit of emotional support for folks. And I mean, they all. Uh, I know who my favorite YouTube people are, and you keep coming back to them because you go, I know what I'm gonna get. I know you can 
You can give me what I need right now. You can give me the distraction I need from day-to-day -day life. So, I mean, we're spoiled if you're like me and right now you live in Canada and you've got an opportunity to not work and the government's going to pay you to stay home. I got life good. And uh, it's going to actually, honestly, for me, it's going to give me a new chance to sort of rebuild the channel and get, get back to my old my old ways. I don't know what this is. I think I... Keep low wall. Oh. Oh, I need a half wall instead. Do I? Oh, shooter. Okay, that. That's what I was looking for, right? Should we get the tops and the mids? I think so. Let's get it all. Yep. Okay. Hopefully, uh, you know, just a little side de- This is the problem with this build, guys. There's so gonna be so much detail, I'm not going to be able to get obsessed with, hey, let's make this look exactly like I want it, like I did with this thing today. I mean, that's- I've probably eaten up a full- Yeah, we're an hour and a half into my stream already. All right, let's paint this trim white as well, and we're gonna call it this a, a completed project right here, guys. Uh huh. And I think what we're gonna need to do is build red towers out of these, out of these big ones that we've slapped together. Uh huh. Give me a little. How? Will how will you get painted? I'm gonna have to go go inside this piece. Think I got it? I got it. Okay. That's too much too much stuff glitched together, I think. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good design. I got whimpering dogs upstairs. I hope they can behave. You don't let you don't think that's close enough color? Uh, Ben? Is Frick Canada's F word? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We, may, we might not even have a proper F word here. Why are my dogs making so much noise? They better behave themselves. We got two and a half hours left of streaming. Or did it look better? Or did it look better in its original version? Unpainted. Straight up. Just stone. I think this is it. I think that's going to work. For, that's the best we can do. Right? White is going to be too crisp and clean. And we can try it. Let's try white real quick and, and just make sure. Speaking of getting lost in the details, don't get lost in the details, buddy. It's not much different. Man, it's barely even noticeable. Wow, I can't believe how unnoticeable it is. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's really worth the stress. Let's just touch up this top bit and we'll see. The white and the silver are remarkably close to each other. In the shade, a bit more noticeable. Getting lost in the details. But that's kind of, that's my style. <laughs> I live in these details. 
god, my dogs are making a whining little racket. One of them has to wear diapers here. At my mom's house. Okay. White on the left is creamier, but the white on the right is more of an ivory. It's tough from far away. It wouldn't make much of a difference. No, I don't think so either. I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna settle in. Could try sky. No, sky's gonna be too blue, I've, I think. Here, let me give you a little taster. Okay. Would be nice if we just had a, any paint color we wanted. Oh, I got rid of my sky paint. Okay, let's do this. I didn't think I'd need it for this design. Uh-huh. Right? Way too blue. Not even close. I mean, it's a great color. If you could build a whole castle out of this, especially in that. Mmm, pretty. I think that would look great. That would look great. But uh, I think for us, that's the best we're going to do on that. So maybe we get back to the grand layout and we stop working on details for the moment. Those look pretty good together, guys. Uh, and I, I know it's not perfect, but I, I feel all right about it. Let's go uh, finish up some paint touch-ups. Let's get this guy. Uh huh. Let's not worry too much about this interior right now, and let's do a let's pull up an image for you guys to a reference for you guys to take a peek at again. Um, we have got. So what what I think we've done is this little section right here. So from this small tower should come. Oh, is it? I wonder, should I not even have wasted time recreating that tower? <laughs> uh, so we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, let's let's go from here. Let's let's go back to what we were doing before, guys, and shaping out uh, this design. I think we'll work our way through. We'll slap as much in as we can. And I'll keep I'll keep myself building away. Oh god, I might need to go pay attention to my dogs. I certainly hope not. I'm hoping they're they'll be, I took them out right before we started, guys. Okay, and we'll get back our two by two pieces. And we'll just keep, we'll get to keep working on this overall feel of, of the structure so that we can start making the big decisions about where to go from here. So that, that, and let's do a, let's put this in here. Uh, and we're going to use that just to place some ceilings. And actually, maybe I want to do a one-third height, so let's try this instead. So now we've got snap points uh, here and here, so let's use this one. And let's build ourselves a little, a little platform up here. And I'm not going to go to the trouble of recreating another tower on this side, I don't know that I'm going to. But we're just going to we'll just slam some stuff in right now, guys. We'll get a feel for it. Keep slapping together the design. Uh-huh. A lot of this, a lot of steps like this, guys, that are just this perfect for a live stream. I can kind of settle in catch up on chat. Hiya, hiya Ash Akaya. Welcome. Uh, Moogle Mania says, yikes. Uh, is it Zach, I did consider playing Conan Exiles. It's just been so long now. I'm waiting for the next great building game. The next great, uh, the next game that allows you to build the coolest stuff. And at the moment, I feel like it's this mod in Arc is the thing I need to play with. Uh, so no, I, I have considered Conan Exiles, but uh, no, I don't see any statues in the mod, uh, Lurker Luke, asking about gargoyles. I haven't found any statues. So that would be cool, but you might have to go to a different mod 
uh, in order to mix and match and find those things. Hey, Moogle, what was your yikes for? What was so yikesy? Did we yikes? Is this, this isn't a yikes build yet. It's just getting started. Don't yikes it. That's how my little brother used to say like when he was a kid. I yike it. That's probably like all kids, though. <laughs> it's probably not unique to my brother. <laughs> ah. I'm enjoying this, guys. Chill. Chill right out. Okay. Yeah, let's go put ceilings on this as well. We're gonna have to make them well, be, be a little picky with the way we set this up. Let's do the same thing we did on the other side. We're gonna create a single snap point here for everything we need. We'll put you in here. Is it sunset again? Gosh, I've wasted today, haven't I? Let's go ahead and break it morning once more. And... Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright. Alright, ceilings galore. That is our plan for the next few minutes. You know, if the if the field stone stuff that I showed you guys was the same color as the the cut stone, if it was the same sort of color as a default wall, that would be perfect to match this, that sort of stony color, but it's this. This black, so we need to find paint that matches it. I don't know that it matters too much. This is a small detail and will end up being a mega a mega structure. So who who cares, right? Uh-huh. Good tune. Good music. I'd love to be able to play like a Game of Thrones soundtrack, but YouTube would never allow that. I have to go over to Twitch. Uh-huh. Good job, me. Gonna be doing some gardening this afternoon, guys. My mom does so much, she just, ugh, she just doesn't stop. So every day when I'm inside doing YouTube stuff, I feel terribly guilty because she's just out there garden, 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 garden. And as long as I'm staying with her until I can go back home, the COVID chaos calms down, uh, I have to get out there and assist because otherwise she's just going to put seven hours out there. There's a lot to do, admittedly. I just don't want to spend <laughs> garden all day, but I do need to. There's a, it's like my house, I'm not home right now, and I know what my gardens look like. It's going to be a mess. You got to keep on top of it. And I mean, if ever you're going to revamp your garden, this ought to be the year. People, people stuck at home, right? Can't go out, can't sit at a patio, can't go to a bar. Unless you're... What's it, what's it like where you guys live? Are things open? I would imagine not. Except in a few very rare examples. Right, you can see the two colors kind of at play now. I don't know if it matters. I don't know if it matters. Let's go ahead and fill this space in for us. Look how smoothly that worked out. These are all just brilliantly spaced apart. Go in this hole, please. Okay, it doesn't matter, does it? So the interior of this tower here is probably going to be a bit of a mess, but... We've got the beginnings of something going. I know I keep saying that. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit here. Yeah, we need another one of these doors. Okay, so let's imagine, guys, that the red keep is going to be in the space in between these. Now, if we take a look at this grand picture here, all we've managed to create is a little thing off to the side, down here maybe, or up here. Yes, up here, more like it. So we've created this. So this white tower that I tried so hard to match we may end up building around it and making this big tower and taking the white tower off the corner. I don't know that we'll need to. And then somewhere on the inside seam will be another tower. So there would be another tower right on this corner that we're about to take. So let's try building out. Let's grab some new foundations. I think are in order. And let's try building out uh, with these. So let's go one, two, Three, four, and Okay, let's pull out some triangles then, and we'll lay maybe the foundations of a, a tower. So let's take one last look back at our picture here. Hello, Aaron Longstaff. Welcome to the, st the stream, my friend. Another uh, heroic uh, man in the world of Ark Survival Evolved, guys. Give him some love and attention. Uh, so this tower looks like it would be... Looks like it would have more than six sides. I'm not very good at this triangle building. This is kind of a Rally the Geeks special t specialization. But if you did one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. That'll be now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sided. And it would be nestled into the wall. So that would be this tower here, guys. Is there a proper way? I know how to make an eight-sided tower but it's a tricky process fence foundation process these would all have to be single walls so let's just slap it in and we'll get an idea of how this looks and obviously it would need a ton more detail than we're gonna give it today we're gonna just try and get some essentials in place but great, great building material. I really like what we're playing with here. That feels too big. It feels too big a, sp a thing. Too big a space. So look at the snap points. You can snap off any wall horizontally, which is brilliant. And it's gotta be taller. That's too many sides to me. I wish I had more flexibility in that department. Just gonna slip through the wall here for a second, guys. Uh-huh. 
Okay. I mean, that could work. It's gonna feel round. I know that. So then we can pick the point at which we come out of it at. So I could do this instead. Is it this dang song again? Didn't I say I hated this one? Eh, this is not the one I hated. Eh, skip it. Alright! Alright, that's actually a good size. Okay. Uh, hello. Well, you can always have plants coming out the window, indeed. And Aaron saying that's a good size for the tower. I guess so. It's just too many sides for me. I would prefer, like, a... how How does it work with... Let's try this. Let's do a little experiment, guys. Let's go back to the vanilla dinosaur gate. If my memory serves, that has always been able to snap into an octagon, but maybe it's ten-sided. That's stone dinosaur gate. So let's try this, and let's put this, uh, say, right here for the moment. So if we put one down, one, it has a snap point to it, right? Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is our other option. Now what are our options for building off of this or connecting? What snap points does this create? So if I did say wall, vanilla stone wall. doesn't snap into these, right? How do these work? C can you ever can you ever build a ceiling off the top? I don't think so either, right? No. So you would have to do it. You would have to start with two fence foundations. So this is the same way, this is the same process I could use if I'd built this thing with fence foundations. Is they snap like this in an octagon. So that is my only other real option for this tower. But we're going to have to have multiple towers. So if this one's going to work like that, and let's snap back at our image here, guys. Most of them get bigger as they go up or, or whatever. So if I, if I do an, a 10 here, I can do an octagon here or whatever, right? It can be simple enough. Uh, but it's a two-sided octagon. How do they compete with each other in terms of scale? I'm wondering. I mean, these are stackable. It just does, it doesn't give me all the options I want. Nope. Snap for me, please. Oh, too high? almost the same size, to be honest with you guys. Oh, something went wrong. <laughs> something went wrong. Right. Gate frame is obstructed. Okay. It's basically the same size. All right, let's not worry about it then. Let's use the 10-sided the or whatever we ended up with, 12-sided. Uh-huh. And we'll come smash, 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 and smush. 
Okay, so the we don't need to. Whoops, excuse me. All right, let's just remove some crap from around here, guys. We do not need to uh, fill. We do not need to build walls here. We just need to fill in this space, and we don't even need to with foundations. I mean, this is just giving me an idea of how the walls will come together. You know. Something like this. Will you still go? Can I have two? Occupy this space? It's not a flawless system. Let's pull out a, one of the old tricks in the old handbag. It'll go under there now, I bet. Okay, well not, so let's just do that. This just gives us a feel for... Uh, it will just kind of give us a uniform shape that we can build from. Alright guys, back in a back in a groove, so let's settle into that groove. Okay, and this. And now. Because our 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 everything's gonna be bigger than this. Uh than ooh yes, than what we've got going on right now. So let's just keep slapping together this initial edge. And ooh, look at how much bigger we've gotten since this wall. Do the same thing over here we did it's because there was a tower now how would how would this section let's go back to this i think you guys can see that once again let me double check and make sure yes Whew. so that's where this part is this part's going to come through here so we're going to change some we're going to change all kinds of stuff one thing we know is that looks kind of like a, a straight wall uh that area oh Interesting. One, two, three. Yeah. See this tower, guys? These outer wall towers, they look just like the ones in the game. We need to build red keep towers at some of these points along our walls that are different. They have these tall windows and this little fatter top than the bottom. This is the Tower of the Hand up here with the gold top now let's take a look at some of our other images just to get start getting a feel because these are all different they all have a different kind of layout and concept of how this would look right like this one i really like uh, so when we go for a side view i'm going to do a lot with this i'm going to try and base all my towers and shapes off it and you can kind of see these are our two that would be a simple little hexagon this would be one of those big fat towers with the eight wide uh, shape on it right or eight, eight octagon octagonal and then here's somebody's Minecraft one. Here's another Game of Thrones one. That's the same. That's another Minecraft one. That's the same as this guy. So we've got this image to work for, but as for an overhead, this is the best we've got. So for this building stage, this is what we're gonna work with and we're gonna kind of try and improvise from there. So let's get back to the game world. Boom, okay. Let's just finish this off. Yeah, that looks about perfect to me. I want to put one in there just to be safe. Let's remove this and this and this. Okay, well, let's come back to work with our giganto walls. I think that's the plan. Oh, right, I said don't wall this in. Don't wall this in. So we need to plan now some big stuff. I think I'm going to end up having to t 
change that tower, that white tower we built, spent so much stupid time doing. I think we're going to want to get something that looks more like these down here, which might mean, might mean just uh, hiding this tower so it looks like it's on the outside and you can't even see it from the inside and having our shape come a little further out this way, right? That could work. Let's see. Let's just get a little feel for how much bigger it would need to be. So we may be able to make that work. That would mean, though, this section would need to be taller if we're going to, say, make this tower fall out of use. But I wonder if we should not commit to edges and work on an outside point. I mean, this part we could do, this keep the Great Hall. But I wonder if we're going to want to build over three segments instead of five. And this will be one... Our, our last two segments will be these two, right here and here, that kind of, you know, very simple, low little gardens on top of them. I wonder if we could come at from this side. So this is one view of it, guys. It's very simple. I mean, the keep itself is detailed, but this is a big, clean, empty wall. This is a lot more complex, and that's a, supposed to be the same view, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't it? Or is that the Tower of the Hand? That's the tower of the hand. And maybe this is a reverse view. Oh, this is a reversed view of this side. Oh, so what if I, if, maybe if I can put this, if I, I want to be able to mirror, mirror uh, this one. If I can mirror and reverse it, and then this is the, this side, the north, northern, uh, sort of northeastern side. If this is the, uh, southeastern side then we can kind of have these two images merge where you know this tower here this big st one here is this one right so you could see it just out of sight around the other side of the castle but that that's attached to the other far castle wall so oh gosh i'm a little worried about where to go <laughs> from here <laughs> oh there's so much detail there's so much detail so much. Okay. This here is our biggest and most important section. And we need it to come out and for sure encapsulate this area. This is a staircase down to the crypt. So we for sure want to come out this way. At least. So let's imagine that that's this section. We're going to need to come well out. And then we're past that corner. So that would be there. So that would be a straight. We'd almost have to do more of a, a straight line deal off of, uh, off of this. So we have to do something closer to this. right so imagine that's that i think this is gonna come out further good lord nothing i did the first time is gonna be right this is gonna probably want to come out a whole step further well you know what guys wait this is the this is the idea a lot of slow and steady a lot of work out the idea as you go this tower is almost definitely coming out now that i reassess 
I kind of got uh, tangented. I got on a tangent. So, come out like that. This lines up to there. There's this tower. This tower comes into the long, straight base that stands above this. Uh, but we want this part. I guess I had envisioned... Maybe we'll make two, two things that look roughly like that. I had envisioned having one be visible from here have one uh, big arched arched segment like we have right here on the top of the throne room uh, which is this which is supposedly this but maybe that's a small version I can make on uh, the far side so oh, sorry back to the game so maybe I can have a small version and we'll have a big one come out it'll have to be at least this height at least five high and probably more and it Let's clean some stuff out. We want to, like I said, we want to totally encapsulate this little area here. This is going to lead you down into the crypts and the basements. Not the crypts, I guess they don't call them that. They're vaults or something like that, right? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven on the interior. So nine total. And we'll build straight back and this should be about right. All right, now, how does the transition happen from this into this? Ooh, you know what? The whole thing might be moved over, but then how do we get cover up those stairs? Hmm. Slow and steady, guys. That's a great thing about creative mode for me is we can kind of go back and erase and retry and start over and experiment with something new we're not going to be able to match this image directly we're not going to be able to match any image directly so we just want to take enough essences from all of these that our layout is functional for this space so that's why i kind of followed each of those walls let's take it screw it let's take it all the way across then I think this is it right here. All right. And we are at the one o'clock mark. So I am uh, two hours in, guys. Um, if I take a little break, it will be here. And I'll come back very quickly. I'll just make sure the dogs are all right. Oh, did you? Thank you so much. That was my mom, guys. She took them out for a walk. You're the, you're the best. We got uh, a friend of mine, Mum, gave one very generous uh, donation, so this stream is already a success. Yeah. My... What's that? Pizza's on me, Mum says, so. What do we have? Oh, Blackstock Pizza. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, I might just give away the location if I say that. My secret location, my secret COVID lockdown. So thank you once again to Tag making it one one donor makes a stream like this. It it just makes me guaranteed to come back tomorrow or the next day, right? Like I did yesterday for the lovely fellow who took care of us. So that's the maximum width that we will go with, which means we want to extend the length, and we're gonna make this central hall way bigger than I originally planned. Uh, this throne room area. And I think we can kind of improvise, guys, once I have some space, once I have some things spaced out in here. I can start improvising shapes. This extends further than any part of the castle. Is that totally unreal? It is totally unrealistic. Sure. Yeah, that would be amazing. I'll have to put the camera on for that. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Excellent work. All right, whoops, whoopsie doodle. I've never said that before in my life. Whoopsie doodle, that's not even a thing you're supposed to say. That's embarrassing. 
I bet somebody's gonna go back and find an old video where I did say whoopsie doodle and claimed I'd never said it before at that time too. Totally possible. Totally possible I've, I'm saying, saying that over and over again. It just came out automatically. Whoopsie doodle. Who would say you? I wouldn't even say that to a baby. I, the baby would look at me and be like, "Are you serious? Whoopsie doodle." That's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so getting large, Get large and in charge. Let's find a snap point. We won't have one that matches this tower exactly. But I wonder if we want to find a, a snap point that we can come off of that's roughly in line with it. This one, probably, right? In case we don't follow the curve, uh, the, the, the 60 degree angles around here. That's pretty close to where I wanted it. How well does that work out? Boom. Got a text from one of my friends yesterday, guys, giving me the great news that he's about to be, he's going to be a dad. So, I'm not, I think it's still only privileged information. I'm not sure everybody knows. But congrats to my, one of my oldest friends and his, and his, uh, his wife, mother-to-be of the children. Because that's always exciting when you get that kind of a news. Ah, this looks all right, guys. I can feel it. I can feel how this will work coming up from these walls. They're never going to be red, but it won't really matter. I think this will just be like a low wall that, you know, resumes around the outside. If we go back to our images, it'll be sort of in line with this, right, where everything will be above there. These towers will still exist. The wall will still kind of wrap around. And if we wanted to, we could outdo it. We could uh, extend past this wall you know we could um do this real quick and then and if we did it right we could even have those those merlons sticking through you know if we wanted to we could do that right and extend our keep out this way and hide this wall completely turn this tower into something uh for now, let's not and say we did. All right, so where do we go from here? I know that's a level. I know that's a level, and I know that's a tower. How many foundations wide did we make this? One interior. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if we go one, two, and one, two, and then this is our, our sort of, uh, the height that the actual throne room is, then the throne room will be nine wide on the exterior and seven wide on the interior. And I think that's what we want but we'll be able to take these other areas up for like maybe a gallery or something like that yeesh i'm a little overwhelmed by what we're attempting to accomplish guys and wondering what i can sh what i can do today to get us to the point we need to get to so, let's leave our little constructed white tower in there for now. Let's step back. We're going to take a look at our imagery again. So, how? I'm just looking to get some scale for this thing. This throne room. Okay, this, this will help. I'm trying to think about the roof pieces we have here, guys. So, one, two, three, let's, um, let's do a little experiment. 
with some triangles. Okay, now. Much easier to build with than triangle roofs from Structures Plus. So let's assume that it's that size. Then we'd have to turn a corner. So that won't make that turn. But you could go straight roofs across here. I'm just trying to get a feel for, for what shapes will be available to us if we want that throne room. Uh, if we want to start planning out the shape of the throne room. Put away the one building piece I know I need. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get some morning time going. Ooh, that works. Okay. It looks only like there are three faces. So maybe I need to alter my strategy, right? Because this doesn't give us what we need. It doesn't actually accomplish the look, nor does it. So I think what you would have to do is you'd have to widen, you have to use all triangle foundations, break this even, and widen them. So that we go here and here. put another wall in and that's how big it gets in a hurry could that now obviously it's not the right height could that be this or are there one two so we either have to do three or six in order for this to work. Six sides, which isn't going to work well for us. So let's imagine we can keep doing this. Uh, so one, one, two, and we need four outer, right? We'll come up like this. Oh, that's only three. Come up like this, and then these will line up perfectly. Ooh, yes. Uh-huh. That's what our roof would look like from two sides. And I think we just go ahead and we put in the third and we get a feel for this. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. One, two. Because before we can build the top, we need to build the foundation. So. Yeah. 
And to be honest, we could stop at this point. We don't necessarily need to put these in. That could be the top of it. If that's the shape we were looking for at the top. No, it does come to a point. So let's let's bring it to a point. And that's a perfect half circle. So if we wanted to after this, mm -hmm, we go one, two, and then look at the height that's required here, guys. That's massive. So you're going to have to build this building very tall in order for this roof to not look huge. Because this is a lot of roof, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of roof. Big old roof. Roof heavy. And we'll get an idea for how wide to make this thing, too, once this is all said and done. which is eight. It would have to be eight wide. So I've got this odd number. Uh, that doesn't help me, does it? Unless... How could I make an odd number work? done in an hour and a half probably we we've got a sandwich to eat here guys so let's do a little laid back and we will we will check in uh, uh, yeah ha. stream quality good let me catch up on chat good time to chat with me uh, 12 dino gate has no snap points you could just use vanilla fence supports great won't this project take like super long I don't think so Tebow I think I'm gonna be able to hammer it out Six sided, just use six triangle foundations. Too small. Yep. Might look thick now, but when you start building really big areas, it'll scale down. Yes, it will. Thank you, everybody. Bruce and Aaron. Tebow, I think we're going to be able to hammer this out. It will be a big project, but not a massive one. And then Shrikar. Hello to you as well. White Knight, if you ghost under the mesh, you can sometimes look upward. Yeah, I know that trick. Nice. Oh, what a sandwich. Sweet Jesus, that's amazing. Whoopsie doodle, I'm using that at work from now on. Yeah, I made dinner for my mom last night, but um, she was making it up to me now. So I think this is the shape we're going to need. For the roof and then if you look at the shape of this image it's gonna be it's gonna continue out of this wall at some point we're gonna have to do something like this right yeah somewhere down here there will be another slope job so we need a width of eight Plus one, two, one, two, ten is kind of what we're going to want to go with. So I said we had thirteen, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So step one to shorten one of the sides. I guess it better be this one. And I'll just nibble on my sandwich as we go, guys. I'll try not to chew into the mic. That's such a good sandwich, I gotta make it last. 
It's got this smoky cheddar cheese in it. Chicken that we made last night. Roast, oven roast chicken. Oh, this is not the wall to do it to. Frick! Okay. Well, I think the most coherent, uh, logical segment of the stream is over. I think the most clear-headed building is, is come and gone. And it's probably only going to get simpler from here and make more mistakes. This will get the stream. Prepare for derpiness is all I'm saying. So if that's 15, we need an even number. So if I take this down to 14... I need another bite here. Hmm. Benefits of live streaming versus making videos. You can just eat in the middle of it. So now we're down to 14. We're gonna shave. So, eight. I think this is the width we want. Let's make let's make some space in the interior here, guys. We'll sort this out later. Uh, we might not need to come in and put foundations at this level. We will need some, I guess. We'll need some to make sure we can. Two, three, one, two, three, one here. We'll do the trick. This should support everything. Mm-hmm. trying to give a, a sense of space for us here, guys. And symmetry. Which is what we've got there. Time for another bite. Oh! Give your mom a hug from your... I didn't realize it was you, your... Okay. Okay, let's look back, guys. Eight wide plus another, probably one, two, three. Eight plus six is 14. So. is very important in this layout. What a cool looking castle. 
I feel like I'm going to be able to hammer this out. I might do some off-camera stuff. I might do some more live streams. Oh. What a sandwich. Hey, 35 folks watching. Thank you very much. Click the like button if you haven't already. Okay. Where's this thing I built? Show me what the inside looks like. One, two, three. It's an odd number. How did that work? One, two. One, two. One, two. I see. Eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to go two. massive. What I've got set up here is pretty massive. Okay, let's do some removal. I know the shape of this now. I'm sure I could recreate it. When is this going to collapse? Collapse already. upstairs because he knows I'm eating a sandwich and he doesn't get to participate. What a, what a delicious sandwich. Yes, we have been busy, Ted. I'm currently building a red keep on my server. It's a huge undertaking, that's for sure. Yeah. You're doing it in survival, Dallas, because that's a huge undertaking. Doing it in creative mode doesn't seem truly insane. It's this song I hate, right? No. It's the next one. need to make a longer playlist I think okay let's back up and get a feel for things guys obviously we've matched the shape of this one it's wider than this one so if we do this one it will be just the eight wide and not the additional two to the outside so we continue back from here and then maybe we wouldn't need to extend as far right okay doing it in creative mode and still a huge project yeah you're probably right I'm probably well in over my head <laughs> but yeah I'd love to see your pictures I'd love to see I assume you're using this mod I can't be the only one who's thought of doing this since I saw the mod I'm trying to think of how will it look from the game in game world. What I want to what I want is when you walk in 
be overwhelmed. Whoosh. Massive. And that's kind of what we got here. It extends all the way out to here. This might be too far. We might move this whole arched bit back. But we've got the beginnings of something. We certainly do. So where do I go from here? Let's take a look at some more imagery, guys. And we'll try and get a feel for this thing. There's a lot going on in this image. Okay. Okay. Coming out here. Okay? This this wall, these two walls right here, are going to be this. Extending towards the corner. So, let's grab some ceilings. Triangles, please. Hmm. Good. Just as I need the foundations, I put them off the hot bar. That's classic. Classic me. Now, the challenge for me is this is not necessarily going to be in this location. I mean, so what do I do? Do I follow this and have it extend? Oh, it does both. It really does both. So where I've set it up is wrong. This is right, sort of. This is going to create a somewhat straight line coming out from the castle, right? So that would mean the castle's coming back here. If, if it is on this point, that would mean that we want to move this whole central thing that I've got extending that way out to this side. And then that will better represent what we're going for. Okay. Let's put some pieces in place again. It's such a, it is a giant task, and I'm not sure whether to take on bit by bit. I feel like the layout, the initial layout is going to be very important, and then the details can come. I'm going to have time to make those work. Yeah, maybe this is an insanely large project. <laughs> Are there sets of plans for this, like for Game of Thrones? Okay, yeah, there, there's... Not really. There's not a, like, he's talking about how in Star Trek, you used to be able to buy posters that showed you the complete skeleton of the building. Or not skeleton, like a cross, ske cross section of a ship that went, okay, here's the ready room, here's the battle bridge, here's all the kind of stuff that existed on the Enterprise or whichever ship, right?
So that means for us, we need to fill out oh, a bunch of this shape here. Because this will be Hmm. Gosh, guys, I don't want to get I don't want to get lost in the project. I know I said I I said I'd make a 4-hour stream today. But I'm wondering if maybe I should spend some off-camera time, clear my head, and then come back to this and put some new eyes on it. Because we're at a kind of a crucial point where the decisions I make here are going to change everything. Sorry for the chewing, guys. But yeah, in order to kind of get the aesthetic from all three of the main pictures I've been showing you, we'll take some proper planning. And I think some off-camera stuff, because when I'm streaming, I'm distracted by a bunch of stuff and wanting to kind of push towards a, something I can show you rather than just test and step back and keep testing. So what I'm picturing is this view that we have here is roughly of, of this, this angle, right? This here can be this straight wall, right? The straight wall is this. It heads around to the corner where extending over the wall is this, right? Our wall will continue back in into the building. So we're going to build the throne room up on this level right here. It's going to sit right here and it's it's it will be overlooked by out here. You'll still get a great view of it when you enter the gate based on this wall will be the full large keep with the tower that extends out this way, one extending that way, and a really big one, excuse me, uh, sorry, really big one extending off that corner and a small one extending off this corner. And the main part of the red keep will go up and down like this. Now this image, that's gonna be our overall master plan. Take this image and flip it in your mind, okay? So put the tall keep on the left, the tower of the hand here on the right, okay? And then we'll go back to the game. So if you're able to flip that in your image, tower of the hand is going to sit somewhere out here. Just it, uh, actually, let's take a quick look at our overall image. Tower of the hand will be on this corner right here. So the gold top tower will be on this corner. I told you, you got to flip this in your head. So now, gold top tower here, big keep up here. So the big keep is gonna be centered on this wall right here, like we planned, not extending nearly that far out. That part that I had just planned is instead gonna extend out this way. We've got beginning stages in. I know what needs to be done, but there's a lot of fluffing around, guys. There's a lot of messing around, getting some details right before I can go into another phase of large building with you and we can do some transformational stuff so i think honestly i'm gonna call this a stream here and uh we'll come back and do this again hopefully tomorrow um i like this you can see the remnants of the dragon pit over there in the distance there's gonna be all of king's landing out here if we eventually decide to keep building right but obviously we have a big enough challenge on our hands just with the castle just with this mighty castle but I, it's something i'm ready to do i want to build some big castles with you guys so let's call it a day let's call it a day and a productive beginning to our stream and um I'm going to do some off-camera stuff, so by the next time you see a view of this, I will have done some of the legwork. I'll have put the skeleton in place that will allow us to build up, and then maybe one stream after that, we'll be able to get into some really uh, detail-oriented stuff. So I think that's it. Thank you guys very much for coming, once again, for watching me eat my sandwich, for keeping me company while I do a creative project, and 
for inspiring me to do creative projects like this. Thank you to Crazy Mom and Tag Back TV, the super chatters from today, uh, especially Tag. If you guys haven't checked out his channel or my friend Aaron Longstaff, who was here, go do that. Uh, and Dynamic D was in the chat as well. Say hello to him. He's got a channel, Pego Studios. So thank you to everybody. We're going to keep doing some creative stuff with this CKF mod. I'm going to try and go from just a loose outline of a build to something we can really sink our teeth into next stream so if it's not tomorrow it will be the day after and i look forward to it guys thank you so much for hanging out i'm unite the clans this is the known world map the ckf remastered mod at aegon's high hill where we are building the red keep pretty awesome uh i'm a little intimidated by the scale but i'm not yet scared off of it so i'm going to continue the project tomorrow or the next day thank you for tuning in love you all and we will do this again soon bye bye mm, big kiss